picture of a vegan brownie that I bought and I posted it and somebody commented, why do vegans always have to brag about being vegan? I was like, that brownie was $10. <laughs> I'm gonna tell everybody about that brownie. <laughs> I didn't eat it, I just been showing it to people that come over. <laughs> See, now that's a good way to keep up with your New Year's resolution if you wanted to eat healthier. That funny lady gracing the stage at Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club tonight and tomorrow night, but before her shows, Gina Brion joins us live here on More. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Is that brownie stale now? It is, it okay. is. It's officially a piece of jewelry now. <laughs> I Just, love it. That's the good thing about vegan food. You can repurpose it. <laughs> Just like macaroni necklaces. You and really such. can. I'm I'm dairy free, Gina. I know all about the vegan it desserts. It is a struggle. It is. It really is. Okay, tell us about your shows coming up. Uh, well, I'm super excited to be back at Kimmel's. It's like my home club when I'm here Love in it. Vegas. And and it's just the progression of what life has become. You know, I think during my last special, I was just getting acquainted to the whole married life thing. And now I've been a mom and gave birth during a pandemic. Mm. And it's like all these stories of the crazy evolution of where I was. And it's nice to have people follow me through it, especially since there's a lot more pandemic moms than I thought. Oh, yeah. There's a bunch of them. I I mean, what else were you gonna do during yeah, the pandemic? Exactly. <laughs> you gotta make them and have them. That's just it. <laughs> gotta get through the, the boring times somehow. Okay, so, and I love that you feature your husband a lot in your stand up. Did he know what he was getting into? He loves it. I he literally it. will spot check my material he, and he knows <laughs> how naturally funny and silly and goofy and playful he is. Mm -hmm. So he'll do something and it'll just be like, you're going to write a joke about that, aren't you? Like, yeah. he just knows. He's like, do you need me to remind you that I did this? <laughs> He's like, just remember that for your act. <laughs> like, just quote me in your act. I love it. And so does your son now make a lot of uh, appearances into your stand up? He does. And my son is hilarious. He's starting to make jokes now. Oh boy. Like he's starting to realize he can make mommy laugh oh and his his latest and funniest joke so far is he got a speaking spell for Christmas okay and the word that came up was discover oh and it was like please spell discover and he goes I want to discover a new toy <laughs> I Wait, thought, I love that. I was like, you know what, kid? You're onto something there. That was good. Wait, how old is he? <laughs> He's three. What? He's three years old. Okay. I birthed a little comedic genius. Funny and smart. <laughs> yes, I love right. that. I love that. Okay, um, you're also an actress and yes, a writer. Yes. So what can we see you in? Any projects coming um, up? So I've done a few projects. I was in the Fluffy movie, which was Gabriel Iglesias' movie. Um, I am in Dashing Through the Snow, which is now uh, available on Disney Plus and Hulu. Okay. Christmas movie and I'm a Christmas nerd. Are you? And I play a Christmas nerd in the movie, so I was born for this role. Okay, our producer Darren in the booth right now is also a Christmas nerd, even yes. though he's Jewish. That's fine. But he we loves still accept Christmas. We, we expect, I accept all Christmas nerds. So in what way are you Christmas nerd? How early do you start decorating? Oh. As soon as Halloween is over, no. I'm like, okay, let's, let's just start unpacking some of the decorations. <laughs> because like Thanksgiving is just a pause before we get to Christmas. How dare you? Yeah, it's just a pause. It's just a pause. No. It's, just, it's just a brief food related pause. Oh. <laughs> See, Thanksgiving's my favorite, Gina. Nah. I fight people like you. <laughs> you know what? I'm not going to poo-poo Thanksgiving. It's, it's a great holiday, but it is just a road stop on my way to Christmas. I'm okay. like, I'm going to stop here, have some pinil, have some food, and just go okay. right into, dive into Christmas. On your way to Christmas. Okay. <laughs> on my way to Christmas. Okay. Doesn't have to be everybody. Before we go, um, tell us about your shows one more time, and what do you like to do when you're visiting here in Vegas? Um, when I'm here in Vegas, I just kind of like to see the sights. I wish I had more time to see shows yeah. because I did get to see Rod Stewart once when I was here. Yes. Oh, cool. Um, but I will be busy working. And uh, if you want tickets, JimmyKimmelsComedyClub.com for tickets. <laughs> <laughs> just in case you're curious as to where tickets. Um, but, you know, I'm excited for the shows this weekend. I always have a good time in Vegas. The crowds are always great. The club is amazing. And, you know, I get to see a lot of cool, interesting things in Vegas that I don't get to see everywhere. Oh, yeah. Great people watching. Okay, Gina Brion, tonight and tomorrow night, two shows each night at Jimmy Kimmel's Comedy Club. We need to tell your agent to book you an extra day for fun next yes, time you're here. I agree. And Gina, sticking around to help us spin for charity so stay tuned for that and I hope you're